Hey nomads, today we're taking you to Sri Lanka on a tour that we did with Cinnamon Nature Trails where we learned about the human-elephant conflict. That's when humans and elephants find themselves in the same territory. In Sri Lanka, it's not uncommon for wild elephants to wander into farming and residential areas. You broke the wall? Yeah, that one, the back one. To get the salt. To get the salt. So mm. in the sense, if you keep the vegetables wow. and everything inside uh, the house, it comes to scary. eat it still. Yeah. Uh, so how do locals keep the elephants from raiding their homes and crops, or worse yet, injuring them? Watch on to find out. First, there's fencing. In some areas of the country, we did see electric fencing, but in this village, this is the strategy they had in place. And they draw this yarn, tie this yarn across, so okay. the elephants, uh, if they come and lean on it, the farmer can hear. Ah, ah that's okay. clever. Yeah. And the, yes. the lion <laughs> beer cans are used to, you know, alarm for elephants. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, they have that's, to drink the them first. Yeah, so there's a normal can, it won't work. In this case, you know an elephant's around, but what do you do then to make it go away? One of the ways is to call out the word for elephant in Sinhalese, Alia, just like this. Alia! <laughs> It's like when you say Aliyah, because they have heard this and they, they have big ears, they can hear very well. And uh, it's like a thunder for the elephant because they don't like, it doesn't like calling its name and it has heard it so many times. So they actually go. They, they know that we are asking it to go away. So it goes. Or make a sound like this. Yo! Oh! Oh! face the human and elephant conflict. So they might not. Then you have to use the crackers. The crackers? Thund thunder crackers. Fireworks. Oh. Fireworks, yes. Crackers. Yeah. You throw it, light it and throw it. Dooms it. Just. Mm. Put the tail up, I'm back sorry, to the jungle. Did you do it again? No. This villager showed us the firecrackers he uses to send elephants on their way. Oh, that's a big Oh, that's wow. that one. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Since elephants come to his property every night, he sleeps in his treehouse. Can we go up? Why not? Okay, let's go. Bedroom. He's got an LCD TV up here. Yeah. So that was a small glimpse we got into seeing what it's like to live with wild elephants on a daily basis in this small Sri Lankan village. We'd love to know is there a human animal conflict where you live? Or have you been to a place where there is one? We'd love to know the strategies that you use or that you've seen in use in those places you've visited to help humans and animals coexist peacefully together. Let us know in the comments section. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to this channel for more travel videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's like a cinnamon donut. In a drink. In a drink. Yes, to that.